New ways to save energy costs in Blatchford with some of these new homes together, creating Edmonton's first virtual power plant, sharing energy captured from the sun with other homes in this Edmonton neighborhood. The virtual power plant is among the first being developed in the country, taking energy from a home's solar panels, storing it in batteries, and sharing extra energy back into the electrical grid. Local builder Landmark planning to install batteries in 100 new homes, eight homes built and connected so far, with special meters from EPCOR. Kelly Tallis with Solartility, the company coordinating where the energy goes, saying it's the beginning of a new decentralized energy model in Canada that benefits consumers, the environment, and could give more stability to the electrical grid. For decades, electricity has flowed one way. The impact of this innovation is profound. For consumers, it means lower energy bills uh, with potential savings up to 30%. It means greater energy independence and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. With $3.3 million from Emissions Reductions Alberta, CEO Justin Reimer hoping this is a chance to see how this model could work elsewhere in the province in the future. At the heart of this is a powerful idea. Homes don't just have to be consumers of electricity. They can produce it, they can store it, and they can share it back on the grid. This participating homeowner saying the chance to live in a net zero home and help the electricity system was appealing. It's going to sound so cheesy, but I like sharing. <laughs> I like the idea that we are powering without putting out any harm into the environment. And I like the idea that we can take that good and give it back to others. Landmark is hoping to build most of the homes by the end of next year. In Edmonton, Lauren Boothby, City News.